one precious childhood saved for years to come in pictures. You can do it too. All it takes is a camera, Kodak film, and thoughtfulness. In this video, we tell you about the rise and fall of Kodak. The story of the implosion of one of the Workday's most successful companies that had it all and lost its edge. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this. Let's get started without further ado. The company that revolutionized the photography industry with its films became a multinational with immense power for popularizing photography throughout the world, the company that for decades monopolized the phrase a Kodak moment when someone referred to when someone took a good photograph, the company that created the first digital camera in its laboratories, Kodak, is now bankrupt. Not that Kodak is going to end completely tomorrow, but the company announced that they do not have the funds to cover their current expenses, and as a result, they had to lay off employees and abandon non-profitable business. However, it's important to note that Kodak's decline has been ongoing since 2003, with the company closing multiple manufacturing plants and processing labs while also reducing its workforce. Despite Kodak's historical significance in technology, including the creation of the first digital camera prototype, they have been unable to succeed in the digital photography industry. Despite poor management, Kodak's products are still in demand and will continue to be purchased. What happened at Kodak? Kodak was a dominant force in the film and camera market, accounting for 90% of film and 85% of camera sales in America in 1976 and ranking among the top five world brands until 1990. However, Kodak's relevance declined with the rise of digital photography as the company continued to heavily invest in traditional film and analog cameras while struggling to adapt to the digital world. Kodak's attempts to enter the digital camera market were lackluster with only average compact digital cameras that failed to garner support from photography experts. Today, it is difficult to convey the significance of Kodak's role in the industry to those born in the last few decades as digital storage on chips and hard drives has made traditional film and tape seem outdated. Kodak has a fascinating and diverse history spanning from the introduction of the Kodak No. 1 camera in 1889 to its declaration of bankruptcy in 2012. The company had significant influence in the production of cattle and silver across the globe, but its accomplishments extend far beyond that. For instance, Kodak played a crucial role in capturing iconic images from the Apollo 11 mission to the moon developing photographic sensors for the Mars surface rover, creating optics for the Chandra Space Telescope, and producing cameras used for aerial reconnaissance in World War I. They even invented OLED technology and were the preferred choice for films used in Hollywood feature films. As evidence of their technological prowess, Kodak received nine Oscars for their contributions to the film industry and was the first to detect the U.S. Army's atomic tests. Kodak's world-class puzzle. The largest puzzle in the world is from Kodak and has more than 50,000 pieces. In a nod to its photographic past, Kodak makes puzzles that stand out for the high quality of their images and, in some cases, for their size and number of pieces. In this area, one of the most striking puzzles is what we can consider the largest in the world, by the number of pieces, more than 50,000, and by size, 28.5 feet by 6.25 feet. The beauty of the world in a puzzle. The motif chosen for his self-proclaimed 51,300-piece world's largest puzzle is the most beautiful architecture we can find in the world today. Specifically, 27 wonders of the modern world are made up of 1,900 pieces each. The entire puzzle measures 28.5 feet by 6.25 feet, which in our metric system equals 8.7 meters by 1.9 meters. 
For obvious reasons, it is essential to have a lot of space at home to be able to mount it properly. For the rest, each of the images that make up the complete puzzle has a size of 39 by 24 inches, equivalent to approximately 1 by 0.6 meters. Among the wonders chosen by Kodak are the Roman Colosseum, the Eiffel Tower, the Great Pyramid of Giza, and the Great Wall of China. You will also find Mount Fuji in Japan, Venice, the Great Australian Barrier Reef or Niagara Falls, as well as historical buildings such as Chichen Itza in Mexico, Machu Picchu in Peru, and other more current ones such as Parque Güell in Barcelona. In summary, a compendium of natural elements, historical remains, and modern constructions that exemplify the natural or man-made beauty that populates our planet. Kodak's Resurrection Kodak resurrects as a pharmaceutical and the value of its share skyrockets. Kodak's glory days are behind us. The American company, despite its attempts to become relevant again in the technology industry, has not managed to resume the path of success that it once boasted. Now, in an unexpected move, those from Rochester enter the pharmaceutical sector. And Kodak wanted to resurface the pandemic by producing medicines for the U.S. government. This week, Donald Trump, President of the United States, confirmed that his government reached an agreement with Kodak to start the production of drugs. Let us remember that last March, the North American administration activated the defense production law, which allows them to force companies to manufacture medical supplies to face the coronavirus crisis. It is, of course, an exceptional measure that now involves Kodak. Companies like Ford, General Motors, and GE took it upon themselves to produce fans. The loan to Kodak is $765 million. Donald Trump declared at the White House that with this agreement, his administration is making use of the Defense Production Act to provide a $765 million loan to support the launch of Kodak Pharmaceuticals. The president stressed that this is a historic agreement for the pharmaceutical industry in the United States. It will also be for Kodak, which has completely turned around its objectives overnight. The multi-million dollar investment also contemplates that advanced manufacturing techniques are used in production to reduce costs and comply with environmental regulations. It also made the key starting materials, which are the building blocks of many drugs. This indicates that Kodak was focused on the production of generic drugs, mainly those that are essential to face the pandemic. Kodak shares soar. Kodak is proud to be a part of strengthening America's self-sufficiency by producing the key pharmaceutical items we need to keep our citizens safe. Trump's announcement has had a significant impact on Kodak's stock. Until that very year, his share was trading at $2.62 and after confirming the loan, the value shot up to $60. The change in the company generated 360 direct and 1,200 indirect jobs. The Japanese Although Kodak was and is a very litigious company with its patents, it also had to defend itself in expensive lawsuits. Surely the most famous was the lawsuit for patent infringement that Polaroid brought against him in the 1980s. But his great rival was always Fujifilm, Fuji for friends. Kodak tried to counterattack by denouncing the practices to the WTO, which ended up agreeing with Fuji. Kodak had 90% of the photographic film market in the United States and 85% of the cameras sold were theirs. After a rapid expansion between the 50s and 80s worldwide, Fuji was one of the great challenges for Kodak based on putting increasingly cheaper reels on the market. After years of bullying and marketing bullying by the Japanese, Kodak ended up laying off nearly 20,000 employees in 1999. The 1980s were a pivotal time for Kodak. The decision to spend 1988 about 5.1 billion to buy Sterling Drug, the pharmaceutical company that ended up selling Bayer for about 1.5 billion in 1994. The decision will go down in the annals of the worst corporate decisions in history. Salvation Ignored Kodak was one of the companies with the most patents. 
as a pioneer in the field of creating development centers to unleash scientists and technicians, it had a long history of outperforming the competition. In 1975, Steve Sasson, one of Kodak's engineers, created a machine about the size of an ordinary toaster capable of storing images electronically on a tape, which could then be viewed on a television as there were few monitors at that time. They invented digital photography. However, Sasson himself and his superiors did not find it viable and ended up leaving it behind. In this type of large company, it is common to see that most of the hypotheses and prototypes they work on do not end up being part of the final products, but in hindsight, the error was huge. Smartphones Having a camera in the backpack was fine, but it is much better to have a camera in your pocket that also allows you to surf the internet, play games, communicate with the world, and much more. The smartphone left behind the need not only for film cameras, but for cameras in general. To cope with the rise of digital cameras, Kodak first began to manufacture them by selling them at a price below the cost of production. He tried to take his production of silver halide for the creation of special CDs, but their high price made them a failure in the market. In 2012, Kodak declared bankruptcy, and in 2013 it sold most of its patents to a consortium made up of Apple, Google, Facebook, Samsung, Microsoft, and more for $525 million. Kodak sues Samsung patent war. But not content with being bankrupt and reducing its production of, well, everything, Kodak still wants to sue Samsung, which is starting to be some kind of sport in the world of technology. If you don't sue Samsung, you're nobody. And it is curious because they all sue one of the few companies that have had very good economic results. But Kodak is suing for infringement of five camera-related patents. Among the patents that have allegedly been violated is the possibility of taking photos while the image is previewed on a screen or sending images from an electronic camera to a service provider. Patents are pretty generic right now, and things that are taken for granted in a camera, be it a smartphone or a compact camera. At its peak, Kodak had more than 145,000 employees, of whom about 6,500 remain today. Although 6,500 employees is a lot, the sale of its patents will most likely be Kodak's last major move in the industry. It is not lost on anyone. Kodak has seen in its patents a way to alleviate its economic problems, either by selling patents to other companies or suing for patent infringement on existing products. Either way, it's a way to make money for them. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, let us know what you think in the comment box. Make sure to hit the like button and notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. While you are here, kindly click on one of the other two videos you see on your screen. See you there!